Welcome to Magic Gardening Strat. I'm Dan and this is a Patreon uh, milestone goal video and a Patreon reward video. Look at this Patreon. If you help us get to, there's a link in the show notes, if you help you get us to $200, we'll do monthly leagues on the website. We now do bi-monthly leagues and they are very popular, but we could do monthly ones just for $11 more. One of our patrons requested this deck to be played, it's called uh, Rakdos Glass Cannon. And uh, I was told to put something else in the sideboard over four relics. I put in two Gorilla Shamans for affinity matchups. Um, he acknowledges that we are pretty weak to Delver. Uh, so we hope we don't run into that. We are going to play some Pauper! Yay! Okay, Key Daddy Cole is our opponent. Shout out to... Um, ah! Stupid computer, sorry. Shout out to Nuclear Shaskat. Nuclear Shaskat. Shaskat. Sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. That is the patron in question. So thank you for being a patron. We are playing first, always in Classic Pauper. Well, it looks like we can do something here. So I'm gonna keep it. Play Atog, Threaten Mayhem. Wellspring before Atog, so we can actually get the value out of it. Star should play an artifact land first to enable. Uh, okay, interesting. It's an Elvish Mystic. I'm very tempted to kill it, but I think it's better to kill whatever he he spawns. So now we have enabled the Galvanic Blasts. Here he comes. Oh, what if it's elves? Then we should have killed him. Okay, if we see more elves, we are going to kill some. That's an elf. That's an elf that is better to kill. Okay, so kill the elf. Uh, the Queer Ranger now. Change my target. Ooh, look at that. Queer Ranger is too dangerous. Now he has mana to protect it. Hmm. And play a tog. I think we could do quite a bit of damage now. Quite a bit of damage. Bone splitter. Disciple. That's some serious damage. Nightshade peddler. He gives death touch. That's not something Atog wants to see. Okay, so we have to kill off Nightshade Peddler. Um, yeah, otherwise we're not gonna get anywhere. And then arm the bone splitter and start beating down. And I'm not gonna use the wellspring against the green deck because I want the value from the disciple. So I'm gonna do that next turn. Uh oh. Well, just my second Atog could stop that. Metal Sentinel. On top on the 4-4. He has one more card. How about... Swing with the Atog, play another Atog, it could easily eat something with those two. Ignore Disciple of the Wall for the time being, unless we draw a land now. We did not. I think Prism is very, very slow in this deck. But we probably need it. How about that new artifact from Origins? 
probably worth a try. Hit him for three. Play a tog number two. I'm very conservative with the wellsprings here, but the threat of activation is huge. No! Was that real? Okay. Do we want to do anything against him? Maybe we want Shainish Edicts to stop the aggro. But over what? Yeah, maybe we have to realize that we are not uh, gonna outrun an elf deck. So I am sideboarding out Glaze Fiends because they suck at blocking. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, I think. That's not useful. Okay, capsule is pretty slow. I'll take one over Glaze Fiend and then one over Star. Yeah, we have to play them. We have to kill like Timberwatch Elf if he shows up. So let's see if we can do that again. Rebirth. I should have sideboarded out the Rebirth. Perhaps. I'm keeping this because I am fairly confident that I will draw something red and I have the Shainish Edict. But I could be overrun here. But if I'm not... Yeah, this might have been a mistake. I am probably just trying to justify my poor crappy play. I feel that it elf deck seems to lack uh, speed. It's all going very slowly. Oh, that's because there are stuff like that in it. A guild gate. I want it badly, but I'm gonna edict here. Probably just getting rid of the deadly clues. Oh, I wanted to get rid of the elf, so that was great. Here he comes. So I'm pretty much stuck with Wellspring. Now the weenies are amassing. Yeah, I'm still gonna play Wellspring because I can play the Gilgate. And then get uh, Galvanic Blast. Oh, and play Chromatic Star. Get Galvanic Blast Atog next turn. But there will be a beating before that. Uh oh. Rancor! I'm getting overrun here. Yeah, maybe capsule is too slow. Look at that. Okay, R remind me again, what was the plan? The plan was rebirth. Value, value town. Darksteel Citadel, star. Tog. Okay, we're at 12. So we definitely have some work to do here. Death touch. We really want Nettle Sentinel to die while we have Galvanic Blast to get rid of the Rancor. Maybe that is very greedy. Yeah, I'm gonna block him with two of these to force a growth spell. 
Okay, there wasn't one. So now he only has one power creatures. Heck proof that that. And Rancor. He still dies to my 1-1. One, one. What's the right play here? Thin his creatures, play Bone Splitter, keep Galvanic Blast open. Seems solid. Get the Bone Splitter online. We're at 11. I don't expect Atog to survive. Okay, Atog will survive. I will block with that thing. If he has a growth spell, how much damage can he do? Oh, he can actually do a lot of damage. But not 11. So we live to play another turn. Uh, that's pretty disastrous. And now we kill the Nightshade Paddler. Because we can't kill this guy because he has Hexproof. But we don't need to kill the Nightshade Paddler before the end of the turn. Oh, that hurt. Four. I'm scared. Wall Scourge, Prophetic Prism, Equip. Just one Growth Spell is all he needs. How many artifacts do I have? I only have three artifacts here. Right, Dark Steel, Citadel, Wall to Whispers, Bone Splitter. But I can get this guy down to two. I can also get him down to three. So I just play... Pris. And then I have four artifacts. I can play Mirror Enforcer for three. And he does not have... I'm very reliant on him not, uh, not having a grow spell here. If he just attacks with all the creatures, I'm probably doomed. Intense! I don't want to die! Please don't kill me! Uh oh! Uh, Gleeful Sabotage and Conspired. Targeting Mir Enforcer. And then targeting what? Targeting Prophetic Priest, so I eat them both. Need to get to seven mana to flashback my Shainish Edicts here. Oh, he really should have attacked, shouldn't he? Okay, let's draw some cards. Not a prism. Well, I have to play a blocker. But I'll burn through this star to do it. That's an Atog. That's a much better blocker. Still not feeling very safe here. Mm. 
Not very safe at all. Another Death Touch Peddler. That works pretty good against me. But he now doesn't have anything in his hand. So I can just trade with the Glade Cavalry Scout. Accomplishing pretty much nothing. But I'll, I'll do it. Where will the Rancor go down? It will go onto the Spider. Yeah, I really need to draw something. And he dies, I die, so I don't have to eat anything. Oh, I should have eaten to prevent one damage. God, what am I thinking of? Okay, that was a screw up. Uh, okay, I can kill him. And now I shouldn't actually kill him now. Because then he'll just play the Rancor on something else. Uh, and I can play the Prism. Yes, that's what I wanted. Play the Wall Scourge. Arm it. This doesn't feel safe at all. Okay, if he drew a growth spell here that actually stops Galvanic Blast, then I'm dead. But there is some hope. He says that he messed up. Oh god. Another creature. Now I can actually get to four life by attacking. Bolt one, block the other and actually don't die. Once again, unless he doesn't grow, draw a grow spell. So I will not bolt anything here. Oh, look at that. So I will start gaining life. And now I'm actually safe from a grow spell. And I will finally get to eat the wellspring. Very intense. Okay, uh, I'll kill the nightshade peddler, block the nettle sentinel. First kill the nightshade peddler. Nice. Then I can save the other Galvanic Blast for when he replays Rancor. And now I block the Nettle Sentinel. Eat the Wellspring. Do I even have lethal next turn? I have to count. Oh, no, I don't. Another Wall Scourge. And bolt that and get rid of the Rancor. Yes! He says he messed up, but... Uh... Wow, that was intense. Cool deck. Thank you, Nuclear Chasscat. Chasscat? I think it's Chasscat. And thank you all for watching. Please support us on the Patreon. Patreon.com, Magic Adding Strat. I am now a full-time YouTuber and I need every penny because this is quite insane of me. <laughs> Thank you for watching.